Hello everyone, Segmentator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Hello. I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? Relax, I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara is the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. All right, then. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human, do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Fair enough. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Cool. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial spaceport. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Alright. Thank you very much, Officer Dara. Let's go find Samara. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. <laughs> All right, let the hunt begin. Hey, Pitney Four. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them, but only in well-lit places, with my guards, and only after the creds clear. 
This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal items, and they are all cold-blooded killers. Why would these Mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosaster spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. Uh huh. I should go. Right. Anything hiding around here? Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. I see. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. All right, let's go talk to this officer. All right. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. <laughs> what can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. Why wasn't I told? That's about twice <laughs> Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. You mentioned a crime scene. A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars, but we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave Asari space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt Volas. I have to go. All right. Thanks. We find Samara before the detective goes after her. Agreed. Let's get a monk on.
get out. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Yeah, you do that. Uh, Aria, let's consider the extra stock uh, stock surplus. Ship the rest to Thax at his normal destination. He'll never miss a few lost pieces. All right, that was automatic. I didn't I get my weapon out. Thank you. Get the rest of Bravo Squad prepped. Alpha Squad is just a car twenty. Open fire. They should soften them up. Come on. Thank you. Anything hiding around here? Nope. All right, can't go that way. Those were my best troops. Hi, Samara. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. Was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard. And I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I'm going up against suicidal odds, and I need the best. That's you. I sense the truth in what you say, and it humbles me. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. <laughs> uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car is in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. And after a day, Samara fights her way out of custody, killing anyone in her way. I am afraid so. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Can you tell me more about just a cars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? 
If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Makes sense. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. I well, see. I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. What an interesting turn of events. Pitney! How are you doing? Hello again, Earthclan. Did you speak to the detective? Why are the mercs after you? I know nothing about any mercenaries, Earthclan. I'm merely an innocent merchant trying to make his way in life. The Eclipse are out for your blood. I need your help to break into their base. Shouldn't we work together? Yes, you're right, Earth Clan. I'm desperate. I've got angry mercs after me, and now this Asari Justicar. Let's talk. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. <laughs> Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Cool. What an absolute swindler that Pitney Four is. Anyone else? Here we go. Ooh, new shotgun. I don't really use shotguns that much, so we'll switch back to the assault rifle. I 
I remember this one. This has got to be a renegade option. Tended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I knew. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. Screw that bastard, and screw you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's, it's better to do the renegade option on that one because it turns out she's the one who killed uh, Pitney's uh, partner. She needs to find the evidence to connect her to it and then that's that matter settled. If you don't mind, I don't matter. Alright, so everyone? Grab you. Um. There we go. Come on, give me the one I need. There it is. Thank you. Nothing around here. Where's the evidence for Elnora? Should be around here somewhere. Firing a high impact 
shot. You down? It's good. Um. I see you. Nothing's faster than Tratika Bob. Alright. It's a sniper rifle dealt with. Need to change that because that's not a particularly good rifle. Anything hiding around here? Does you right there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, okay. That wasn't the stairs. Yep, there we go. That's that little mystery solved. Now let's go and go and find the name of the ship. Oh, excuse me. They've seen us. Remember this place. we go. Sorted. Nope. That one. <coughs> Just 
Excuse me. Right, you, you, you go there. Perfect. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs. <laughs> But it does implicate the Volus. I'm sure Detective and I would be interested in this. Yep. We've got to keep moving. Yes! I love this bit. Hey, Nif2. Creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. <laughs> you need help. You need help. For you stand before the mightiest biotic ever. <laughs> yes, the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. <laughs> <laughs> They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! <laughs> Are you part of Pitney Four's trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure will get delayed. Pitney will pick money over friends every time. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. Shepard, this guy couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last. <laughs> but, great wind. Biotic god. I'm. I. What was I saying? I'm tired. You may be right. Yes, I'm tired. Hold that. Destroy the universe later. So much for Godhood. Ah, I love that little moment. Delusionally, delusionally high volus. Doesn't get more hilarious than that. Anything here? Just that. All right. Let's go deal with uh, the Eclipse leader. Well, of this sector anyway. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. <laughs> At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. <laughs> oh, she's angry. Soften them up. 
You dead? She's dead. Well, this bit's new, I think. One less to worry about. Some record of that ship must be around here. All right, let's have a look. I remember this back area before? They included this for the remaster. I think they might have done. Right, nothing up here. Um, that one, that one. There we go. Anything else hiding around here? I don't think so. All right. This is just a car here, probably looking for the one we sent off on the AML Demetra. A uh, Demeter. I was happy to see her go. She chilled me to the bone. I just hope the just a car doesn't mess up my operation. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? I think we've done all we can here. We've got time. Let's look around some more. Why did I do that? Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Let's Ye go. Yeah, we're done here. We've got a lot to report to the detective. Ah, Nifty, you made it here. You feeling better? I don't know what they put in me, but I thought I was... Well, you saw. Anyway, thank you, Shepard. Oh, a Volus that actually called me by my name instead of Earth Clan. Show it to her. All right. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? Justicar. I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. <laughs> 
I have proof that Eclipse killed the Bolas merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. <laughs> Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, yep. enough with all the congratulations. I still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Okay. Nice. We now have got Samara on board, so let's go have a chat with her, see see how she's doing. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. Excellent stuff. All right. You know what we what to do? What we're going to do now? A chat with the crew. Oh, no, first. Upgrades. Assault rifle accuracy. Yeah, that definitely needs improving. Weapon specialist. Yay. a minute to talk having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew hard to concentrate affecting morale anything else I'll let you work we'll be here if you need me all right Morden's had enough of our little chats very enough there is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar you did well getting Samara on our side she is so elegant and gorgeous too bad her manner is just so cold. I didn't recruit her for her looks. The Normandy already has you, Kelly. <laughs> you are just too sweet. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Thane would like to see you down in life support on the crew deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Cheers, Kelly. Let's go have a chat with Joker first. Sure, he's got something to say about Samara joining the crew. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? You get everyone at the same store or something? I assume everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Cool. What's this message? Now we've got Thane's loyalty mission unlocked as well. That's good. Uh, from Jarrett, greetings Commander Shepard, Lara Tassoni gave me your contact information. I was one of the cleaning crew in the Dantius Towers. You helped get me out of there. According to Tassoni, you also found Thane. He took down some of the Eclipse Mercs trying to gun us down. And I wondered if you could pass along my thanks. The way he moved, one was dead before they even knew he was there. He snapped another's neck, then shot a third. All in the space of a few heartbeats. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace and power in constant motion. Seeing him changed my life, woke up something in me. I don't fully understand yet. 
I don't know what I'm going to do, but Solarian lives are too short to waste as custodians, especially when there's so much else out there. I'm going to find something that lets me capture what I saw in him, the beauty, that beauty, that aesthetic perfe uh, perfection. I'm also going to buy some nice clothes. <laughs> so if you could tell him that, or just whatever parts of that you think appropriate, I'd appreciate it. Sincerely, Jurit. Ah, he's got a little uh, assassination crush. Uh, cruise quarters. All right, Thane. No. Oh, this is Samara. Shepard. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others, as it should be. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? Show me what it would take. All right. Cool. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Yeah, good point. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. All right. She's not ready to talk about that just yet. That's fine. All right, Thane. Shepard. Is there something wrong? Yes. Now that you are here, though, it seems more difficult to talk about. I've got time. Take it at your own pace. Thank you. I fear I've already done that for too long. I had a family once. I still have a son. His name is Kolyat. I haven't seen him for a very long time. How long has it been since you talked? Ten years. He showed me some of his schoolwork and asked if we could dance crazy. We did that when he was younger. What sort of dance is that? It's... I checked my extranet contacts. I expect an update on my next target. The console plays music. Oh, unfashionable. Kolyak jumps into the room. My father runs around in circles. I scoop him up, toss him into the air. He shrieks, laughs, spin me. The console beeps. I put him down. Click the message. Father, he pleads. He tugs my sleeve. I need to read this, I say. Don't look at him. Oof. Did something happen to them? I abandoned them. Oh, not all at once. Nothing dramatic. No sneaking out in the middle of the night. No final argument or slammed door. I just did my job. I hunted and killed across the galaxy. Away on business, my wife would tell people. 
I was always away on business. You never mentioned this before. Why now? When my wife departed from her body, I attended to that issue. I left Kolyat in the care of his aunts and uncles. I have not seen him or talked to him since. Well, that's not the choice I expected. Why didn't you raise him yourself? My body is blessed with the skills to take life. The Hanar honed them in me. I have few others. I didn't want that life for Kolyat. I hoped he would find his own way. If he hated me, so be it. He would not have shared the path of sin. I used my contacts to trace Kolyat. He has become disconnected. He does what his body wills. You'll have to explain that one to me. Disconnected. The body is not our true self, the soul is. Body and soul work as one in a whole person. When the soul is weakened by despair or fear, when the body is ill or injured, the individual is disconnected, no longer whole. Well, what's wrong with him? Is he hurt? Something happened that should not have. He knows where I've been, what I've done. I don't know his reasons, but he has gone to the Citadel. He's taken a job as a hitman. I would like your help to stop him. He is... This is not a path he should walk. You don't hire a raw rookie for a contract killing. I'm afraid someone may have seen we share a name and assumed we share skills. I don't know why he would accept the task. To be closer to you, maybe? That thought haunts me more than any other. Maybe he name-dropped you to get hired. It's possible, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem right. My name. He should not respect it. What made him go to the Citadel? Years ago, I prepared a package for him. A relic of my ill-spent life. I had Volus Bankers store it and arranged for delivery when I died. He acquired it early. I don't really know how. I did wet work on the Citadel around the time his mother died. That may be why he went there. Thane, I don't have your contacts and I don't have your tracking skills. Why do you need my help for this? I don't need your help, I want it. The last time I saw my son, they wrapped her body in sea vines, weighted it with stones. He tries to pull from me, calls for her. The hammer lift her off the platform, they sing like bells. The fire has gone to be kindled in me. He begs them not to take her away. They let her body slide into the water. He hits me. Don't let them. Stop them. Why weren't you? It rains. It always rains on Kaje. Warm water pours down his face. I didn't mean to make you relive that. Perfect memory. It is sometimes a burden. I'll get us to the Citadel as soon as possible. Thank you, Shepard. I'll be meditating until the evening. That must be horrible to have a perfect recall like that. Right. We're not quite ready to leave Ilium yet, so I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.